Hey beauties! Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another haul video. One of my favorite videos to film because it just means a whole bunch of new goodies, a whole bunch of new trouble for me to get into, and hopefully I love most of the things. But this is both a Sephora haul and a MAC haul as usual because I'm always buying stuff from them. Um, most of this came from the Sephora VIB sale. I didn't get as much as I typically do. I don't know, like, there's a lot of stuff that I want, but it doesn't come out until, like, after the sale, of course. You know, your favorite things. They're like, no, boo, you're not getting that 15% off. But it's okay. I'm going to start off with Sephora and then go into MAC. So let's jump right into this. Very first thing out of my big old box here is this guy like i am finally just gonna jump on the bandwagon see how i feel about it and move along so this is the glow kit from anastasia beverly hills i got the one in gleam now the reason why i did not grab these to begin with is because looking at them online it looks like one or two shades will be light enough for me and then the other ones is kind of like i can't do anything with that unless i put it in my kit so this is what this one looks like, and I can definitely wear these two. We've got Starburst and Crushed Pearl. The other two, Mimosa and Hard Candy, I would have to do like a blush typer topper kind of thing, but I don't know exactly how I feel about these yet because they swatch nicely, but um, I don't know if my skin is just really dry or what, but... They didn't, it, it seemed to add a little bit of texture, and I wasn't thrilled with it the first time. I liked it better the second time, so I'm gonna still gonna play with these and decide how I feel about them. But yeah, if not, I still think they're great enough for my kit, but maybe not so much for dry skin or textured, but I don't know yet. I haven't fully decided. So if I love this one, if I end up liking it and using it a lot, I'll probably grab the other one. But for right now, we're just going with the Gleam Kit. And the other one, I think, is called That Glow. But this is 40 bucks. You're getting four huge highlighters. So really, you're not, like, losing any money if you don't use a shade or two. So, yeah, there's that one. Speaking of highlighters, I am unsure about. This is the Urban Decay Afterglow 8-Hour Powder Highlighter in Aurora or Aura. Something like that. I'm not sure. Um... I used this in my last prom tutorial, and I love the color of it, but again, it was very powdery, so I don't know. I'm still going to play with it. This is what the shade looks like. Sin looked too much like other stuff I had, and to me, it was even more powdery, so I didn't really want to get that one, but this one is a really pretty, like duochrome pink shade. I don't know if that's going to show up, but I like the shade. I'm just not sure about the consistency of it. I think I'm spoiled by Hourglass and Becca. Like those two are the bomb to me. So I don't know. We'll see if this ends up staying in my collection or going back, but I like the color. Now this guy I am absolutely thrilled with. <laughs> it is way too expensive, but like you don't even know. This is the Tom Ford Soleil Contouring Compact. It's life. It is absolutely life. So this one comes in, you know, one of those little, like, I don't know if it's faux suede, what it is. I never, ever use these little pouches, but this, yeah, I'm going to keep this on here because I don't want my compact to get messed up. <laughs> so this is what looks huge. It's white with a gold rim and it's so gorgeous. And what's inside, I've been using this. I can already tell you that I am obsessed with this. So you've got a bronzer shade, a blush shade, and a highlight shade. The highlight shade is very subtle, so nothing like in your face. But I have been obsessing over this. They're so creamy, and they blend so well. They're pigmented, and I, I love this thing. Next up, I got some eyelashes. You know how to do that, right? Because, <laughs> like, everybody does, so join in the party here. So this is Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty, not sure how to say that, but these are Jade number 13 Faux Mink Lashes. Everybody has been talking about these, so I decided I was going to try them out for myself and see how I feel about them. 
Now I've got three, actually four, liquid lipsticks from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm wearing one right now. The other one is Ashton, and it is not at my door yet. And sure to form, I'm sure that as soon as I'm done with this video, I'll get a knock at my door and be like, oh, well, here's Ashton. But yeah, whatever. Um, the one I'm wearing right now is Craft. So that's this guy right here. Um, I wore one of these the other day and it was actually, I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. Um, this one's Craft. This is probably one of my favorites of the three. I love this color. It's really deep, like a purpley pink shade. I love this one. The color, at least. I'm still undecided on the formula. Um, Vamp is the next one I got and I'll swatch this one for you. So this is like a reddened brown shade. Super gorgeous. Love that color. And then the last one is the one that I had an issue with. I have not worn all these for a period of time except for this one. This one is called Spicy. I love red oranges. Like, red orange is my favorite. Um, I love Lady Danger, So Shod, those kind of colors. This one is spicy, and like when it went on, it was absolutely gorgeous. Like this one, it feels nice. I don't like, I have my MAC primer underneath it, of course. But right after I ate, then you know, there's a little spot. So I touched up, and it flaked on me for the rest of the day, and it felt horrible. So I don't know if like you just can't touch these up, or if they're gonna flake no matter what, but if that's an issue, they're going back. Maybe it's just this color. I'm not sure, so I'm gonna test them out. I just can't stand for a liquid lipstick to literally flick. Like, that irritates me more than anything. So I'm gonna try it out again. And like I said, I'm wearing this one today, so we're gonna see if it's just that color or if it's a problem, yada, yada. Everyone talks about these, so I finally grabbed them because I wanted to swatch them in store. The colors that I would have picked online aren't even the colors I wanted whenever I swashed them. So I love these colors. I'm still undecided about the formula, but I will let you guys know. Now I'm super excited, excited about these, super excited. I'm super excited about these. These are some more of the Bite Beauty Bouge Rouge Bouge lipsticks. Like I said, I got the one in, what was it, Sugar Cane? And I love the formula. I think it's my favorite formula of lipstick ever. Like, love them. So I got three, and the first shade I got is Meringe. Mer I don't know. You guys know I can't talk, let alone read. So this one is a nudish peachy pink shade. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna show you guys swatches as well. This is in like the LED lighting and then my swatches are always in natural lighting so they look different depending on the light you're in. So I like to give you guys different looks or lighting, whatever. Then we got Honeycomb and I really like this one. This one again is another nude but it's more of like a brown nude. So that's it right beside the other one. And then the last one I got, I also wore in my last video, the prom one. And I wore it a few days because I was like, yes, I love this color. I think this is pronounced pronounced sake or sake, something like that. It's S-A-K-E. And this is another, it's a deeper pinkish purple mauve shade. Really like that one. And again, this formula of lipstick is my new absolute favorite favorite. Now the last thing I got from Sephora was this B Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel from Drunk Elephant and I've been using this since I got it which was at the beginning of the month. I think I got it on the 7th and I love this. At first I was like oh this really sinks in but I really really enjoy this. I love that the packaging is stable so you're not opening up a jar and the ingredients are going to crap and then you know you're not really getting any benefits. I love that this is stable. So I've been using this with my softening lotion, then I put this on and then I put on my sunscreen. It's not too heavy. It's not super, 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 super duper intensive to where you're gonna be oily. It's just, it sinks into the skin really well, hydrates really well, and I have really been loving it and it's not breaking me out, so that's good. Okay guys, now my Mac box is <laughs> a little crazy, so. Ooh, we're going to just tear into this. I'm gonna go speed through some of the things you guys already know about. Like, I literally 
got four, four of my favorite, this is one of my favorite skincare items I've ever used. I've used this every day for three years and this is the MAC Marine Bright Softening Lotion. The reason why I got four is because they are going to be repackaging this and sometimes when MAC repackages things, it'll be out of the store for a while. It could be out for a month or six months and I will not be without this stuff, so I got four. Ooh, and then 35 Lash came back in stock, and these are some of my absolute favorite lashes, and it's funny because I still don't want to put them on because <laughs> I only have two pair, and I don't want to be without them again, so I've been wearing like the little fake ones that I have, but MAC 35s, like in of themselves, are freaking perfect. Then I got two pigments. One is the Reflex Transparent Teal Glitter. And again, I used this in my last tutorial. It looks like it would be white, but then it literally reflects teal and it's absolutely gorgeous. And they're really, really, really finely milled glitter, so they're not really chunky. It would just like, it's a dust, but it's the best sparkly dust ever. And then because I wanted the radioactive stack, but I didn't because I had a lot of similar colors, I decided to grab this because I thought this was extremely similar to the orange shade in the stack. And this is called Neo Orange Pigment. And this is bright as hell. So instead of getting that whole stack, I just decided to get the one color that I wanted the most. Well, I mean, it's not the same color, but it's basically the same color. So this is Neon Orange. Now, I don't know if you guys are ready for this news, but MAC is doing away getting rid of like 31 shadows. Yes, you heard me correctly, 31 shadows. They are being discontinued, no longer, bye-bye, and I, some of my favorite shadows are on that list, so mama grabbed as many as she could. So Blanc Type is on that one, so I think I grabbed like four or five of that. And then brown script. This one is kind of up in the air. It said it is, but then it says it's coming soon. So I grabbed a few of brown script. That's another block type. Bamboo. I shed a tear for you. Bamboo is on that list, so get you some bamboo. And then Mac Kid is on that list as well. So I got every last one in the pan form from my store because I was like yeah I need that one and so those are the ones that I grabbed that I was like cannot be without but I grabbed several of them so I'm like I'm gonna hoard you and keep you forever. MAC has new like pinwheel mineralized skin finishes and I grabbed two of these. The first one is called Faintly Fabulous and this one is my favorite. I love the formula on these. They're super, super soft. You can use them like individually or I kind of just put them together. And then this one gives like a really pretty peachy highlight and I don't have a highlight shade that color. So I was super excited about that one. And then the second one is called Nounced. And this is a darker one, like darker skin tones would look really great with this. Again, you can use them separately or all together. I'd have a tendency to just swirl it around. And that one is more of a peachy pink one. And they're really, really, really pretty. They're not chunky, so it's not like soft and gel or anything like that. It's super soft on the skin. And you can use these as like eyeshadows singly. Pick out your highlight, use it as a blush if it's darker. Like there's, I think, five, five or six new ones that are really cool. Now I've gotten a lot of questions about if I picked up any of the all the right angles. Yes, I did, and I got my shade because this is great to travel with. So if you open it up, you've got your highlight. I like to use this to kind of set the under eye or highlight very softly, and then your sculpting shade. So this one is Accentuate and Sculpt, I think. Yes, Accentuate and Sculpt. Sculpt is one of my favorite um, sculpting powders. And then on the inside, you have Hush Cream Color Base. So you can use that on the eyes or really work it to the skin to give it a nice glow, but it looks like it's from within. Really, really cool, really great for traveling. So I'm not gonna linger on this, but I totally got another one. I told you I was going to, so I did. This is from the MAC 
future MAC collection. This is Ray Beam. I only got one of these, so I loved it so much that I got two. That is what is on my cheeks right now. And oddly enough, like I'm not contouring. I have not contoured my face in four days. I've just been putting bronzer, highlight, and blush on. I don't know if I'm sick or if it's like a new thing for me. I don't know. MAC has a new mascara. It is, well, it's a new formula of this same mascara. This is the In Extreme Dimension. Oh, this one's waterproof. Look at that. I love the teal. So you know the black one is the 3D, the white is the regular. Now we have the teal, which is waterproof. So same formula, but now waterproof. And honestly, I like this formula better than the other ones. I don't feel like it is as clumpy whenever you go in. So if you love this formula, then you are going to really like the waterproof, unless you don't like waterproof. I mean, I don't use waterproof all the time, but if I'm going swimming. I know I shouldn't be wearing mascara, but still I feel like I want a little oomph. So this one's good. Ooh, and then I forgot I got this, so I'm excited again. I haven't even used it. Um, this is Cheek Pollen, and this was in the, what collection was this? Um, I cannot spit it out, I don't remember, but it was one of the last collections we had, and I skipped on it, and now I've got it. So it was still online, and I was like, let me have you. So this is Cheek Pollen, and it's, it's a, um, it's a peachy blush. If you know me, me and Jenner Lee are like this, but they're different, so it's okay, you know. Three more things, guys, and then I will leave you alone. So this is, again, another collection from MAC. MAC is like throwing them out at you. But this is the Versi color, and this is Resilient Rouge. These are really cool. So it's a stain, but it's a gloss. Like, I don't wanna swatch this on my hand because it's legit not gonna come off, but that's okay. So they're glossy, comfortable. It's like a gel gloss. It's really cool. And I actually want to get a few more colors. There's an orange one, of course. Why doesn't it melt? Yeah, orange. Um, but this one's really, really pretty. And then after the gloss has gone away, your lips are still stained. So you ate your sandwich, but you still look cute at the end. And who doesn't want to look cute after they've eaten their sandwich? I mean, I'm just saying. So yeah, and I just sat here and tried scrubbing this off. I knew better to do, to give you guys a swatch, but I knew you guys were also going to be like, can I have a swatch, please? So there's your swatch, and now it's going to be in my hand for the next five days. But yeah, at least they stay in place. Then this guy has been out of stock for a hot minute, and it finally came back in stock, so I grabbed it. There's a few more liners on my list that I need to grab. This one is Beat, and I love this. This one looks perfect with D for danger, and I have not had this, and it's been really irritating me, so finally got it back. Beat Lip Liner, beautiful, especially for the spring and summer. It's gorgeous. And then the very last thing is a collaboration with a singer that I really, really like. Like, I love her last album, or I guess her only album, I don't know. Um, but this is the Mac and Halsey, Halsey, something like that. I don't know how to say her name. I, I'm only saying Halsey, but I'm not sure if that's correct. But this is a matte shade, and it is like a slate gray. It's freaking cool. Like, you know, this is not going to be for the typical person, but if you're a collector or if you like cool colors like that, you should grab it. Mm, it smells like vanilla. Anywho, that is it for my haul video. Let me know what you guys want to know more about, what you guys want to know if I kept or if I took back. And let me know if you guys grabbed anything cool from the VIB sale. If you did, let me know. I want to know these things. And funny story, I got this sample of this primer. Let's see. This guy right here. And I put it on my face today and I actually really like it. And now I have no idea what it is because Sephora did not write it down. And now I'm like, I need this primer. It's really good. I don't know what it is. So if you guys know of any new primers that are pore filling, that's not the Dr. Brandt or whatever his name is. Um, let me know because I kind of want to buy that and I don't remember what it was. Anywho, I'm going to quit rambling. I love you guys. I will see you guys in my next video. And please subscribe if you're not already.